case was an electronic children's toy. Six flights to Los Angeles and Salt Lake City were delayed until the airport reopened. As our special election draws nearer, 10 News is taking a look at each of the governor's propositions. Tonight, 10 News reporter Kim Edwards delves into Prop 74. She joins us live from the Westgate Hotel where the governor is hosting a dinner. Kim? And we are live here waiting on the governor. He's about a half an hour late. He is here to rally support for his propositions. He says it's another step towards, especially Proposition 76, another step in his education reform plan. But the folks who are protesting right on the other side of that wall say, in the end, it hurts teachers and students. Stop playing politics with our schools. Is the governor really the biggest bully in school, or are teachers not making the grade? That's the question at the heart of Proposition 74, and both sides are passionate about the answer. 74 is a direct attack against teachers. It holds teachers accountable. They have to show five years of good performance. Supporters of 74 propose lengthening a teacher's probationary time. Instead of two years, it would take five to become a permanent employee. It is encouraging good teachers to be better, mediocre teachers to be good, and, and poor teachers, if they can't make it, that maybe they should choose a different profession. Research shows that it Lengthening an, an amount of time for um, a, a probationary status does not increase student performance. It does not increase um, teacher effectiveness. Opponents also say 74 makes it too easy to get rid of a teacher without giving a chance to improve or getting needed training. And they say the current system works. It's a laundry list of things, but basically I can say that if they violate ed code, educational code, that teacher can be dismissed. It's not easy. It's very costly. It's cost upwards of $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 just in legal fees. You've probably seen the advertisements on both sides. It will probably pick up. They've got about a week and a half left, and both sides are really rallying support to get out the vote. We'll have more on 10 News Live at 6.30. For now, we are live downtown. I'm Kim Edwards, 10 News. Yeah, I think you can say we're seeing a lot on TV ads about Prop 74, Kim. There's no doubt about that. It, absolutely, and I bet we'll see more. That's for sure. And you can learn a lot more about Prop 74 and the special election, all the propositions, all the elections, on our website. There are summaries of each proposition, profiles of the San Diego mayoral candidates, and a link to finding your polling place. Just go to 10news.com and click on politics. The next mayor.